Yo, what's good YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Today's video, I'm going to be showcasing probably one of the best PvE builds that you can make on Devils of Creation. Now to get started, I'm going to show you my build. Check it out, check it out, check it out. So I got 90 strength. People tend to overstack strength. That is, don't, don't, you can if you want to, but realistically, you only need like 80, 85 strength. I went 90 because... I still want my M1 damage for the rotation that I'm going to show you guys. Um, dexterity is 10. This is my racial this is dexterity, which is actually really good. If you, I recommend putting 10 dexterity. If you don't have the umbrella race, or if, you, if you're not the umbrella race, put 10 in dexterity. Um, put 24 in wisdom, and I'll tell you why. When you use these skills, when you use the skills on your farming constantly, your mana is going to drain fast, like really fast. So what you want wisdom for is for the modern regeneration. As you can see right here, my modern regeneration is five a second. So get at least 24 wisdom. The reason why I have 24 is because the armor set that I'm using, I'm using, what is armor set? Zubai or Zubi, Zubi uh, armor set. And it, it subtracts 4%, well, four wisdom, right? So. Uh, I have 24 just to make myself have 20 wisdom. Um, and then you don't really need constitution. I'd say at least put 10 constitution. But yeah, this is my this is my my, my build for right now. I am a great sword bow. And I will show you the rotation. I'll show you how great this build is. Oh, and also you would need you will need spider. But this for this rotation, I'm going to show you this OP rotation. You're going to need spider. You could do it without spider, but it's, it's recommended that you have spider. You should probably get it. It's, it's really good. Anyway, let's get straight into the video. Something I almost forgot to mention is my great sword skills. I'm using sword slam. The reason I'm using sword slam is for the life steal. It's actually really, really good. And the speed. Um, you want to use sky wrench strike, obviously power and stun. Don't really, I mean, you can go most of the power and cooldown but i like the stun because it's like a backup in case or like extra damage if it does stun um and then sword this is option like i use sword hook for the air warlords once i flourish them i just sword hook them pull them back another free i'm gonna combo I'm using range and crowd control now for the rotation it's fairly simple I'm gonna gather these skeletons over here, these skeleton soldiers, level 40s. Gather all of them. The ones over here. The ones over here. You wanna wait a bit. You wanna wait for all of them to come over here. Because once you like pass, like, I don't know, like over here, they tend to run back. So once they're over here, we'll recap this one. And then get the ones that are running. Like that, you see? And then there's drop on them and then use your skill. Easy like that. It's recommended that you have a flying mount because it is so much easier to get all of them gathered up when you like have a flying mount rather than a land mount. Gather them like this. And just drop. As you can see, my modded like it regenerates super fast. Like it's it's nice, so it's really good for farming. I don't run out of mana. I don't have to wait. I don't have to get like like uh, mana pots. It's really good. So we'll get that dude over there. Come over here, get these two, then wait, wait for the spider to come. Then you're gonna run, get the third one, come back. The spider's gonna be running away, and boom. Drop, let's go. Easy like that. I'm gonna keep going down this way. Get this spider over here. Then get that spider, that spider, and then this air warlord. Make them gather. Oh shoot. Okay, I got them gather. And just beat on this air warlord. Yep, just like that. Then you keep going. Go to the next room over here. Get these skeleton generals. 
you can also farm these um i think level 10 i don't know what these are called but you can get these level 10 ores i think that's level 7 ore you want to be careful you want to stay above them if you're out of flying now because sometimes they tend to hit you when you're in the air Get on this dude. Alright. If you cannot one shot the skeleton generals, I recommend that you go back into the. Like, after you kill everything here, you go back here, and these skeleton soldiers will respawn after you're done killing those in here. And then you can just re repeat that pathway I took. But I like to go deeper in. Get this spider over here and just continue on. Get that spider over here. Gather them. Just like that. So this room, get the air warlord, get the skeleton general over here, get those three over there, same thing. Shoot, I missed that, that's crazy. They're just standing there blocking. Oops. Maybe I'm gonna go further down, further in the catacombs. Get those two spiders, get the spell in the general. Same thing. Just like that. Get these three spiders, one, two, three. And also get these bows over here. You can see that my mana is still like practically full. If I didn't have 20 wisdom, I promise you I would have no mana up to this point. Gather them. See, they sometimes hit you. You're in the air. Owns the boss room and i'll show you why it is good to have the spider because you can literally just tank the boss's attacks like if, if your spider if your spider's on level 10 you can tank all the boss's attacks just like straight up dps them. it's amazing i'd be stuttering too much it's crazy but yeah let's get this dude over here i don't know why he's running drop down that's too easy like that. So at this point, once you've cleared them all, you want to put the put your spider and you guess the boss. Just just keep spamming. Just keep clicking. Don't even worry about it. Well, this one, I'm gonna jump, dash towards it. Basically, like dodge it. It doesn't attack you while you. It doesn't hit you while you hit. As you can see, I'm look at that. My HP is back to full. Look at that. HP back to full. Tank in this dude. Keep spamming your skills on him. And for this half, I'll show you that it's possible to do without the spider, but it's just a bit more annoying. You're gonna actually carry the tags. Hit twice. Watch this. Hit twice. I'm going to third hit. You want to like make sure you parry his attacks. Is the thing. 
You don't have this fighter. Just like that. Easy like that. That's the rotation. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.